And benvenuti in Napoli Tifosi. My name is Raf Pizarro. This is Tempo di Recupero, your number one source for Napoli Flash news. In the news today, uh, apparently there was a, an agreement set out between Marseille and Napoli for striker Eric Malik. Now, supposedly the deal might be closed on Monday, and the terms of the deal was a $10 million purchase plus $5 million in performance-related bonuses. Now, they also want to have Malik on loan for the rest of the season. So in order for that to happen, supposedly he would need to re-sign with Napoli and then go on to loan with Mercedes, where they will have the obligation to buy the player after the end of the season, possibly putting a end to this saga, giving um, ADL his money and letting Malik play so he can play in the Euros for Poland. Thankfully, hopefully, this is all over because Malik, allez vous en go away in other news case closed today the figc has officially closed their case uh relating to the game in october between napoli and juventus where it was canceled due to the asl prohibiting napoli to uh travel now before christmas coney already made their decision to take away the win al tavolino and the one point deduction obligating the two teams to play again or to remake that game but the FIGC had an ongoing investigation since October to see if Napoli had violated any COVID protocol. But they cite for a lack of evidence, they have officially closed their case. This is another saga, guys, that we are happy to see over. Now, uh, supposedly, now the game makeup still is not official, but what they are saying is that that first game might now be played on February 13th, which, is, which was the originally scheduled game for the return game in Sao Paulo. That game now may be rescheduled towards the end of the season, and we may play in Torino instead in February 13th. Uh, we'll keep you posted more with that. So for some more good news, we're chock full of it this episode. The boys are back in town. That's right. Mertens may get the call up for Fiorentina this weekend on Sunday. Um coming back from that ankle injury that he snagged uh, right before the uh, right before the break. Super happy to hear that. We certainly missed this guy in the field, uh, and he may get the start that day. Now, we also found out that Manolas is back in training with the regular squad, so that's definitely a positive, uh, positive news there because we are certainly missing him as well. Uh, we just got K2 back. He had a game with Romani the other day. They did well, but we definitely want to see that best defensive couple back together. For sure. Uh, waiting on OZM still. He's still having problems with uh, that shoulder as well as still testing positive for COVID. Uh, no official date for his return. But again, stay tuned. We're going to keep you posted. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you again for joining us. And Forza Napoli sempre. Ciao.